fortune, eternal happiness, being a sports superstar, maybe a famous actress, or even the next Taylor Swift. All of these being the hopes and dreams of my generation. But more recently, and unfortunately, other things have been added to the list. Clean water, less natural disasters, stabilizing climate change, fresh air, nutritious food, all of these things that should be a given. Today, I'm going to talk to you about why you need to try your best to help our world, and how together we can eradicate Earth's issues. First of all, practically nothing has been done in the past decade or so to conserve our Earth. Just when experts advise environmental conservation at its strongest, ignorance, disbelief, and pure under-acknowledgement are is at an all-time high. Your children, my generation, have grown up being prepared like soldiers to inherit Earth's problems. Almost nothing, if any, very, very little, has been done in that time to lessen the burden while the problem is as small as it's going to get. My point is that we should make the most of our lives and help the next generation. The prime of your life is now, so what's stopping you? Next, I'd like to talk about just how much we've taken from the Earth and how little we've given. Earth has given us strong land, healthy food, clean water, fresh air, and so, so much more. And what have we given our planet? Problems, issues, quandaries, you get the buzz. Earth isn't the problem. We are, with our industrialization of fish dumping and our deforestation of microplastics. The very least Earth deserves is our respect and dedication. There is no planet B, and if humans don't realize our mistakes, then no matter how many planets we jet off to, our fate is set. Earth is our home, and by doing the right thing, you secure a future for not just myself, but the generations to come. Finally, how can we eradicate Earth's issues? Surely the list must be miles long. Actually, it's a lot shorter than that. We are a team of 8 billion people. 8 billion people. 8 billion strong individuals who can change everything. If we stand together, modern miracles can happen. As the clock ticks on, as the stage is set for the show to begin, will you make someone aware? Will your generation be the one to start the change? We know our history, the past, the time that's come and gone, but the problems of now are tomorrow's history. And this is a crisis. We are going to war to protect what we have made a commodity, when in reality it's just so far from that. Individually, we are one drop. Together, we are an ocean, Rayanusiki Satoru, and that very ocean we are trying to save. In conclusion, I have talked to you about how we should make the most of our lives, how much we have taken from the earth, and how little we've given, and finally, how we, together, can save our world. The current world is brutal, unpredictable, volatile, and in need of some help. But my world, our world in the future, would be colorful and clean, full of the things that make life, well, life. Towering trees and birds singing in the canopy, with people from all walks of life united. Together, that life isn't so far away. Our life begins to end the day we decide to become silent about the things that matter. Martin Luther King Jr. We do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, but merely borrow it from our children. Chief Seattle. The environment is everything that isn't me. Albert Einstein.